Remembering the fallen in 3D, 600 plush customized stars are now on display to memorialize Texans who died in combat since 9-11. And joining us more to talk about this important project are Bobby Withrow, founder of the Texas Fallen Project and Michael House with the Austin-based company EOS North America. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. All right, so uh, Bobby, we'll start with you. What is exactly the Texas Fallen Project? I know you've got some stars here to show us. We try to do everything we can do to help the families remember their son, daughter, husband, wife, whatever was lost in, in the military service. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only in combat, which the stars represent only those from Texas that were lost since 9-11. Okay. But we try to help them remember everybody, whether it was PTSD related or, or how, however a uh, service member was lost. Right. And, and why is this project so important to you? You yourself are a Navy veteran. Yes, ma'am. Um, I've met probably a third of the family members, parents, mothers, mm -hmm. fathers, mm -hmm. and I talked to them. I heard their stories. Mm -hmm. A lot of them follow me on Facebook, around, driving across Texas. They, they know where I'm at. It, just listening to their story of, of what they feel, it, it just mm -hmm. rips at your heart listening to them. And I, I want to make sure that they know that we appreciate that what they gave, their sacrifice, their sons and daughters gave. And uh, I just can't imagine being forgotten about. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I can hear the emotion. You know, I, you and I were talking just before we came on. This one in particular, um, I, I know I, Anthony Maddox. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. I was actually a reporter in Beaumont when when I met um, uh, Sergeant, Sergeant Maddox's family. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the man, his, his mom, uh, we've been friends for several years on Facebook. She's mm -hmm. followed me all over Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, she watches everything I do. I, I watch what he, she does with her daughters. Um, I send them money to help her daughter, uh, mm. and um, it's it's the the meaning and, and the feeling that mm. I hear that they tell. Uh, they recently named a section of highway up there in Illinois after Anthony. Oh wow! And that was amazing. She invited me, but unfortunately I couldn't make it at that time. Right. But. Uh, seeing the things that they do, what they go through, it makes me want to do even more. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And and Michael, tell us a little bit more about how you got involved in the project and, and specifically EOS. I, uh, I've been friends with Bobby for a while now and about two years ago he posted online that he was looking for some 3D printer information and mm -hmm. I had one at the house so I was, you know, come on over, we'll take a look. And he started to tell me his vision for what he wanted to do, and I immediately knew this was not something I could do at home. Yeah. But EOS is a very veteran-oriented company, and so I knew if I went to them, they would immediately step up, which they did. Uh, Mike Connor, who's our senior vice president of service, mm -hmm. I think he said yes before I even finished my pitch. <laughs> and uh, it was kind of history from then, and we just started getting it done. Yeah, and, and again, you know, clearly we hear the emotion. And, and Bobby, you, you touched on a specific thing, you know, veterans. It, 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 it seems that the gap isn't only there, you know, when they return home or if they are lost at war. You know, we deal, we've talked about here um, mental health issues with veterans. And so why does this mean so much to you, Michael, to be able to help Bobby and, and both of y'all in this project? Uh, I'm not a veteran myself, but my grandfather was in the military, and so I, I grew up with a heavy influence on it. And so any, any chance I get to step up and, and give back, I, I try to grab it as soon as I can. And yeah. Bobby, I mean, you can't say no to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like it. Now, Bobby, if folks want to take a look at these stars for themselves, maybe even help with the project, where can they uh, find information on that? Uh, right now, the uh, trees, three Christmas trees, are up at the Clay Madsen Center in Round Rock. Okay. Um, please look up on, online what their hours are. They are inside, uh, out of the weather. Uh, we did have them at the Old Sellers Park in Round Rock for a, for a weekend long, the lighting of the lake. Mm -hmm. um, you can go follow me on Facebook. That's that's the best way to do it. Is follow okay. me on Facebook. Okay. I do have a web page out there, but it's a work in progress. Yeah. Uh, trying to find somebody to help me with that. If if you're up for it, let me know. <laughs> All right, there you go. You've got the call out. If you want to help with the website, the Texas Fallen Project, Bobby, Michael, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for the work you're doing. It's a very important. Thank you. All right.